complicated nature of what we're going through with the ram right now i bought a angle grinder i got some batteries and a charger so if this can't fix the issue then we have a whole another problem but it will so have faith this is my backup knife for when i don't have my knife but i can't open things boom there we go these things are actually pretty beefy this is probably going to be the dumbest thing i've never done before Don't you hate paying for car washes? Me too. Okay, you guys ready? So I'm gonna start taking off my thunder flares. We're gonna do this so that way none of these guys ever break again. Now they're gonna be a little bit shinier, which I don't know if I'm a fan of yet. They're gonna kind of resemble that, right? where in the wheel well you might want something a bit darker but because it's on such a bright surface already i don't know if it's going to make a difference in comparison because it'll probably blend in better anyway so it's less noticeable when i was actually applying this vinyl here i did end up going underneath the uh, fender flare but the thing is when i went to go and take this off what had happened is that all the bolts came out except for that one so today essentially what we're doing is we're taking the fender flares all off and then we're going to replace all the bolts with stainless steel hardware so that way it doesn't rust out again and the heads come off the screws and then we're kind of stuck. My mud flap couldn't be attached because that's for the top mounted screw. So when I put it back on without that screw, it basically stuck out and it just looked nasty and I knew I was going to have to take it off anyway. Okay, so. I'm not necessarily excited for this, but I think I'm ready. So Dodge, for their fenders, uses actual screws. The thing is, the ones that they use are steel. So now this being stainless steel, I can put this washer on, which is the exact same size as the washers actually on the stock bolts. And with that, it's going to mimic the exact same setup, the exact same thread pitch. And I did test it. Even though it is slightly different, it still works on the actual U or J clips. And so this is going to work perfectly fine. Now because that, that one rusted through that we're taking off with the uh, grinder, I actually had to go out and buy another set just in case we have to replace any more. And essentially that's going to be the best fix that you can do for your fender flares on a Dodge or probably any other truck. Okay, so I'm gonna set you guys up, and we're gonna start taking off the fenders, and then, uh, and then we're gonna get to grinding. That's what she said. <clears throat> no. So you can see how brutal that is. I mean, I didn't snap all of them, or as many as I thought but I did snap uh, four total out of all of the wheel wells and that's enough that I want to replace it anyway. This is why you should do this kind of stuff as soon as you get the truck. So let's see what I have to do for the first one that broke. So I'm going to try to use maybe some pliers and I'll grab on and see if I can turn it but I really doubt that's going to work. No, it's definitely not going so yeah I'm definitely going to have to pull out the grinder and I'm going to grind that bolt off like I said and we'll see if that works. Okay, I am so surprised that actually worked. I literally just thought that I tore this thing right in half, but it just barely came out enough to allow it to slip by. I don't know if I'm gonna do that in the next one, that just will broke that. Okay, so now the question is, does this fit accordingly? It is a little bit big. I might be able to get away with just not pushing it down so far. Okay, I think that's gonna work actually. So you can see it right there, it's pretty accessible and if I need to move it, I can but I should be able to use that guy pretty good. Okay, let's go try the other side. If I cut it right down the center of the U and then maybe grind this down, I think it might just pop off on both sides. And if I do that on both, I don't have to worry about potentially uh, breaking the liner when I do what I did last time. So 
So I'm going to finish the last one over there and then we're going to start basically assembling stuff back together. The back is completely different and way worse than the front. If you have to choose between which quarter you're doing, do the front too. And then see if you maybe have enough time for this guy in the back. So inside you essentially have, you know, where all the holes go. And I kind of did a little digging. That's why I'm kind of pulling you guys back out. And you can see that there's one screw here. I pulled that so it wiggles more and then made sure that the rest of them were out. And then you have to bend this. Now it is very difficult, but you need to basically bend it till it is, and there's a little lip right here. And you need to make sure that this kind of tucks around because if you leave it right here, which I found a little bit easier to get to, then it's gonna actually dent, like kind of like almost rolling your fenders except outwards. Now it's not a big deal. You know, mine is hidden by my fender flares but it just looks a lot nicer and keeps it neater. It's better for you to just overall make sure that you at least get to that lip before you stop pulling it out. Now if you look up here, you can see that there's a secondary kind of fender well. And right at the top there, there's one bolt there. As well, there's one bolt right there. These two bolts, I believe, should be the only ones. And then you pull that out and then that's when you can grind it. So this one you can do at a bench so it's easier to grind, but it's harder to get out. Hey, right, cool. So I took it out. I replaced the J clip. And now when I put it back in, you can see I replaced the hardware with brand new stuff. Reason being is it's a lot easier for me to get these bolts than it is for me to get those ones. So I'm going to close that up. I know that those aren't going to have an issue later down the road if I ever need to pull that out for whatever reason. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go a step further and as well as replacing all of these bolts, I'm also going to do the two in the back. Those are directly where the water is going to be splashing. So to prevent any rust on those guys in case that needs to come out, which is probably going to be a lot more common than the first two, I'm going to swap those over without a doubt. And then that way everything in the wheel wells is completely stainless steel and will not rust. And that way I never have to cut any of this stuff again and just mess around with it for a few hours. So we're finally done. Everything went pretty much spot on from what we were really expecting. We knew that there were going to be more that were going to break as far as the uh, bolts go that were already in the fenders. So I don't think I could have asked for it to have gone any better. These are now stainless steel bolts everywhere and this is probably one of the better installs that I think you can do when you get a brand new vehicle is just swapping out really crappy hardware. So if the video helped you out, leave a like, I'd appreciate it. And if you guys are interested in more content with me and my truck, my bike, my future car, whatever else, uh, feel free to subscribe. But I think that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys have a good one and I'll catch you later. I can't find my light. Found it.